Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm with my friend Charles at Locals. We're getting a deck profile. What deck is this? Galaxy Photons. Alright, let's not do it. <laughs> um, um, Galaxy Photons, I run three Galaxy I Photon Dragon, Boss Monster, really awesome card. Gets fast, Deep Prison, Mirror Force, and also your opponent will also most likely want to bottomless him, so it's good to run at three. Some people run two, but I like three. Um, next up, we have the two Galaxy Knight. Some people run three of these. It gets cloggy at three. I only like to run two. He combos really well with Galaxy Soldier and Photon Thrasher as well as Galaxy Zero. So pretty much, if you have a Galaxy Photon Monster, you can know something without tributing to bring Galaxy Eyes from Graveyard. So he loses a thousand attack even if you don't summon Galaxy Eyes, but it's cool. It's a really easy rank eight play and a really good card. Next up, we have two Galaxy Soldiers. A lot of people run three. I only run two because three. It's not needed, and depending on how many monsters you run in your deck, it can be it can make you start, use up too many resources. Um, pretty much, it lets you, it's on the new support lets you search out any galaxy card from your deck that's a monster and add to your hand. Pretty much, a lot of people do the play where they discard galaxy eye from hand, special summon him, and use the effect to add galaxy knight. And summon knight to bring out galaxy eye first on dragon. It's a really easy play, but people will predict. It's easy to predict, so. That, then again, also you don't need to go into Rush Deck much either, so it's a good card, but I only run two of it. Next, I, next up, I run three Galaxy Wizard. Pretty much standard. Really good card, search of any Galaxy card in the deck. And, except for itself, but it's still a really good card. Though. And pretty much you can get it with Excel Light too. This next choice seems weird, but I run three Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon. The reason I run 3 is because I test that 1 and 2, 2 is okay, 3, it, pretty much 3, it doesn't get cloggy, it can, but it's less likely to, you can summon any Galaxy Eyes card from your hand, or Graveyard. It combos really well with Excel Light, Galaxy Soldier, and pretty much um, Photon Screen Destruction, so it does a Galaxy Eyes monster. And then again, if, you're, if you were to add this card to your hand because of Galaxy Soldier, if your opponent were to mind crash it, you won't mind us because it has a greater effect as well. You can only use it once per duel, but you won't mind us necessarily. The last choice is two Photon Thrasher and one Photon Crusher. The reason I run these guys instead of set, um, Swordman of, set, of Revealing Light is because they're easier to summon and also Crusher doesn't give my point out of Vandy and I can summon him with a 2k beater. And they probably won't see me some see me see a crusher coming anyway. So it helps me get past vanities. I might take out a, a thrasher for another crusher, but I do further testing. And so far, that's pre um, the, tech, the deck test is really good. Here's a nerf tech card. It's well, a nerf one. It's Galactic Charity. Pretty much. I'm oh, sorry. Everyone said this card sucked when it first came out. And honestly, it did. With the new support, it doesn't so much because. Wow. <laughs> but basically, you can just send any card from your Galaxy Team Monster, send any card from your hand to the grave and draw two cards. For the rest of the turn, your opponent takes half damage, but you can play it during main phase 2 after you attack. This card, let's say you have a... I'll go ahead and just say attacking on Chaos, so you want to get it to the grave. You send it to the grave and draw two cards. And basically, it makes it to where that dead card in your hand you can use in graveyard for the fact. That and also can get rid of any dead... It, it just kills any dead card in your hand, pretty much. We run, the, we run two trade in. I don't run three because three is cloggy, two is better. And it helps me with my draw, my draw power, it's just standard. I run double Excel Light, which honestly I've been trying to use ever since it came out. I can never find a good use for it. Except Photon Lizard, but I took it out. Really good card. It's a free search. So pretty much, if you combo it well with Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, you can get Galaxy Eyes out easily. And it's just a lot. It opens up a number of combos. You can bring out Photon Crusher, Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, or Galaxy Wizard. And it just lets you go off from there. Um, also, we run two Galaxy, um, Galaxy Expedition. Good card. You only really need two. The spy have seven targets because Galaxy and I don't like the special summon. Really good card. Let you bring out Galaxy Soldier to deal with further, further plus. And most likely, if you play this, if your opponent doesn't want you to plus, they'll probably sell him warning it. But there's really not much of an issue with it because you have so many ways to get Galaxy out as this. You really don't need. Expedition is there, but it just serves that to a further plus. So, honestly, if you just had one, you'd be good. Though people won't run one. 
but you rarely use the two as it is, so. Next up, everyone, I made that one dark hole. I don't like destroying my monsters. I don't have a Regeki, but even if I had a Regeki, I probably would side it because Spiritual Beast, or oh, sorry, Ritual Beast, Necros, and Yosenju are a thing, so it's, I prefer Dark Hole over that, but it's an easy side out too if I my matchup against it. I then run Galaxy Zero at 2 instead of 3. 2 is better, though I tend to use up both my 2 quickly, but it's not too fast thanks to Galaxy Eyes um, Cloud Dragon. It helps with rank 8 plays, rank 4 plays, and pretty much it just lets you get a free monster. You probably won't use the second effect because they'll probably try to bounce it back to hand, bounce the monster back to hand, and destroy it, but either way, it's a good way to um, plus or get Galaxy Soldier back to hand. You run one Book of Moon because of Genlock and then some monsters. It's better to Book of Moon some cards because they have to be being faced up on the field for the effect to resolve. If you Book of Moon, moon them, it technically it doesn't negate the effect but it makes it where it can't resolve. And it helps you from, a, from attacks. I run two Mystical Space Typhoons. Oops. Not, three is Cloggy. My side deck, I don't side the third. I will probably side the de side deck the third in, in the future. It's helpful against local. Pretty much, it's just helpful. Standard uh, stable card. I then run two photon stream of destruction. I'm going to side my third one with the MSC, but it helps you give any troublesome card in the field like Mandy's, Lion Prisoning Mirror, or they have massive weakness on the field. Heck, I can just even bash a face down card or bash a card like El Shadow Window. So it helps. It pretty much just helps me get around any troublesome card, and I can chain it too if it's my turn. That's it for the spells. For the traps, we run one compulse and one bottomless. We only run two of the, the four staple cards because torrential tribute is more of a side deck card. It depends on your matchup. I then also run two tachyon chaos holes. The reason I run two is because my opponents, most of them are going to main deck double dark hole and regeki as well as bottomless, torrential tribute, mirror force, all that. And if I'm able to predict their back row right, I can bring out XCs for them to destroy it and then destroy all their face-up cards and banish them from the field. On top of that, I can just set it, we got MST it, and it's going to be in the graveyard, so it's just bait. Pretty good card overall, and then it's an easy card to slide out too depending on your matchup. I honestly just added this today, but one magic cylinder. This is the funniest card ever. And I remember losing my sister because she used to run three of these. But it was fun. It's just fun. It's a fun card, funny, and they're gonna think you have more than one to play one. I didn't run two Mirror Force because I like I, oops, I like having all the defense I can, and it just helps against you send use, They're gonna have to run play their counter trap, running abyss. I'll at least stop their attack, and against Necros, if they do not trish me, I'll at least make them wait. I'll waste a card in their hand. I didn't run. Um, I run one trap stun, but I'm gonna take this trap stun out for a different card. And that card is Tachyon Tr Transmigration. It's one of the, honestly, out of all the character track cards I've seen, I'd say it's one of the better ones, in my personal opinion. It's because if you control a Galaxy Eyes monster, it negates any and all sp um, card effects, well, any and all cards that are activated during the same chain, and shoves them back into the deck or extra deck. Including, if I'm correct, yeah, including. Yeah, including cards that are activated in the graveyard, which doesn't say on the field. And then if you control a, a, Gal a Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, where it's a Chaos one and a regular one, you can play this card from your hand, so it's a really good hand trap. And pretty much I'm going to take out Trap Stone for a second one of those. That or else take out Magic Cylinder for a second one, either or. For the extra deck, um, I run one Maestro and one um, Gaga -ga Samurai. I rarely go into ranked 4 plays, but just in case, Samurai can help me get game. Also, if I have a monster on the field, I don't want to be hit. If an attack, I can play a second effect to put him in defense. Maestro helps you go over the level 5 you send your card. Also, it helps you get over Wind, because you can just swing over him for defense. And then he's, good. he's also good as a card just to just stay in defense mode, too. I didn't run 101, wait, number 101, number 50, and number 50. Good cards get rid of problematic cards. I've seen someone still use Wind of Zane Main, so I still use Black Shepherd Corn for that. Number one and one gets rid of any, well it's just standard. A standard card for any deck that can rank four plays. But honestly, I never have to go into these cards. There's never a situation where I'll have to go into them. So they're in here just, just in case. 
I run number 18 Paroli Patriarch into an attack card because some decks summon multiple monsters with the same name. Like I say, I thought I go up against Cyber Dragons or Hercules, I can use the effect and basically just clear some of their monsters. So they can't swarm me. And with 22 under attack and defense, I can just put them in defense mode. It can help. The second effect I don't use because I run Galaxy Photons. We have a decent card, pretty decent side, and it's pretty decent tech card. I run number one of really Ragnar Zero. She's pretty good against matchups like Fire, Fire Fist, I believe. But so far, I haven't had the user. Also against Bujans because they run tank, Fire Formation Tanky and Yosenju. That's and. Honestly, I'm not going to just bring out against the send you. That's not the best idea, but it can help bait their back row. Back row. Next, we have Starleach, um, Lord Gal Galaxion. It's a standard card. Brings up Galaxy Ice Pokemon Dragon from hand or Dex. But he takes two Photon cards to make. Honestly, I, he's just in here just in case. Out of my rank 5 plays, I only have one. Number 14, Greedy Samsara. I use them just because of rain destruction of the thing. Also, because of any effect damage, I would take my opponent takes instead. The second effect, <laughs> when I destroy monsters from my opponent's side of the field, I take off the next seed material, destroy all monsters on the field whose attack, whose current attack is equal to or less than the monster's original attack that was destroyed. Pretty decent, he's a 25 beater. He's not the best rank 5, but he's decent. I do run rank 7s just in case someone does mischief of the gnomes on me. And that's number 74 and number 42. 74, awesome card if they want to target me. I can negate it and pop in their card. Number 42, I only run him because of his 3,000 defense and also he combos well with Gal Gal Galactic Charity and Tachyon Chaos Hole. Because Tachyon Chaos Hole only requires a Galaxy Exceeds monster. Pretty decent cards, and that's the only, they're only in here just in case of one, call, one or two cards, which likely I may come across, but you never know. This got, honestly, I got this card from watching YouTube. I, all my deck pretty much I made myself, but I saw this guy who had an idea. I put number 46 Dragon on here because Light Sworn, Blue Eyes, Galaxy Eyes, Photon, and then the Red Eyes support coming out. Pretty much. I I was curious about the support coming up, and it's like, oh, well, it's coming out. He takes two Dragon type monsters, and he's the only monster you control. You can activate one of his three effects. Spice some of the drag from your Dragon type monster in your hand. Target a Dragon type monster your opponent controls and take control of it as long as it remains on the field. Or negate your opponent. Your opponent can activate Dragon type monster effects until the end of their turn. Pretty good. Three has an attack on defense, so you can just leave him in defense if you want to, so they can't one to one him. And pretty decent. I do run one 107 Tachyon Dragon. I need a second one. I'll probably clear out. I'll probably be taking out my Greedy Samsara, sorry, my rank 5 or my Mace Rope. But he's, he is an awesome card. Once per battle phase, he, um, he can take up the attack to the seed material. He negates every face of monster on the field effect as long as it remains face up on the field. And then each time a card effect resolves, even that card effect is negated when it tries to resolve, he gains additional 1000 attack to make a second attack during the battle phase. He can win games by himself, but you won't run into that much. I then run two number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Awesome card. The effect, the first one basically increases the attack. He's basically the calculator except for um, Exceeds monsters it goes for. And then on top of that, if we destroy my card effect with Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, you can bring him back in your second standby phase with an attack double. And what you can do is you can bring him back, play Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon effect, put him Exceeds material on him, attack, the attack, so the attack goes above 8,000. The only bad thing is, without Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as a seed material, his, the damage he does to your opponent is half, but it can still help you win games. The last card I own is Neo Galaxy Eyes. I run him just in case someone tries to Master PBO lock me, or I have two face up, if they have a ton of face up spell and track cards that if I negate them, it's basically a game. I know a few formats ago this guy played wind ups, and I locked his board because I played this card. He chained bottom with my chain roll with three, and it was pretty much a game. I, but he's a pretty good card. I am missing full armor dragon, dark matter dragon you don't need necessarily. It's decent. But so far, that completes this deck profile. Alright. Uh, so, thanks guys. Appreciate the deck profile. Um, remember guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks again. You're welcome. Thank you.